Hey everyone, we're going to talk about choosing your first app on Chupa Mobile today. This process is pretty simple, so I'll be pretty fast about this one. Let me get the screen recording going. Um, All right, so let's get going with finding an app on Chupa Mobile. So there's two basic strategies that you can go with. Um, the first strategy is short term, which means within a month, you'll probably be making a good amount of money. The second strategy is long term, where you buy a, a template and you're able to reuse this template um, many times. Uh, some templates I've used like 10 times or more, uh, just changing the graphics and reselling it. So let's first start with the short term. The basic strategy for the short term is finding an app um, that's currently in the top charts uh, for the iPhone and moving this app onto the Amazon store. The reason this is a good strategy is because the Amazon store does not have much competition. Um, so a simple app that's doing well in the iTunes store will do very well in the Amazon store. Um, so this will make a lot of money through ad revenue or even uh, paid app downloads. So what I would recommend doing first is going into your top charts on your iPhone or iPad or any iOS device. So go into the App Store, then take a look at the top charts. It doesn't matter if it's free or paid, um, as long as it's a simple and really popular app. So an example right now, the number two app is Finger Driver. This is a really simple app by Catch App. Uh, it's really popular right now. And this is the type of app that would do really well for the short term strategy. So I would take a look at uh, the entire top charts, write down some ideas, uh, find some good ones. Once you have a good list down, then you can move on to Chupa Mobile. And from here you can purchase a template. So I would look at the featured apps first and kind of just go through the entire site and find something that you uh, that is similar to the popular app that you found on the iOS top charts. Um, so something like 1010 Puzzle Pro, this would have been popular. Uh, actually, no, this is not what I thought it was. Okay, let's just use Cookie Blast Mania as an example. This would not really be the best template right now, but when Candy Crush first started getting popular, if you would purchase this template and put it onto the Amazon store, you would have made a lot of money with this one. Um, so let's see if there's any that are pretty recent. How about, let's just go with paper.io. So a few months ago, this was a really popular app. Um, so this is the type of app that would work really well for the short term strategy. So basically get onto here. You want to make sure it says it's an Android app. Um, otherwise you can't put it on the Amazon store. Uh, but just go through, make sure it has the features that you want. And, uh, oh, you want to make sure it says unity because if, if it's not in unity, then, uh, you're not going to be able to make it for the Amazon store. Um, so if you check it out, make sure everything's uh, good with this, then you just add it to your cart, purchase the template. And once you have the template, you're gonna have to download the Unity app, which is free. And uh, once you download that, you're able to edit the app. And uh, if I were you, I would just change some graphics, change the name, uh, put your name onto the copyright, all that type of stuff. And uh, from there, 
you can just upload it into the Amazon store. Uh, there is an article on how to do that. I'll probably link it in this video. Um, and then you just upload it to the Amazon store. And then after that, um, you can make it, I would recommend making it free first, no ads, just a totally free app. And a lot of people will download it because of this. And then once you're getting a good amount of downloads every day, at least like 20 per day while it's free, then you change it to a paid app and its ranking will be really high for paid apps because of this. And then a lot of people will start downloading the paid version and you'll start making a good amount of money. Um, an example app that I bought over the summer. So I bought this fidget spinners app, um, which was only $50 over the summer while the fidget spinners app was really popular on the iOS app store. And I put this into the Amazon store and within a week of purchasing this template, I was making $500 a month, um, just because just off of this app. So this one worked really well. Another one that worked well was Blocks versus Balls. This one didn't do as good as the fidget spinner one, but this was making about a hundred or two hundred dollars per month. And then also I did like a, a another app. I forget what it's called, and I put it on Amazon. And it was also doing like a hundred dollars a month. Um, so these really do work well. Uh, that's about it for like the. Uh, short-term strategy. The long-term strategy is even simpler than the short-term one, I think. You basically want an app that has a lot of possible variations, like a marketplace or a messaging app. And uh, once you download this template, you can change it many times, create many different versions of this app, and then just keep releasing different ones onto Flippa. So a really good example of this would be this one's kind of expensive, but it's a good example. This Tinder style app, um, a dating app would do really well on Flippa because it has a lot of advanced features like login and uh, profiles, subscriptions. Uh, it looks like it has a pretty good UI too. So I would take a look at it, make sure it, uh, it's the right quality. It honestly looks pretty good uh, from these screenshots. Uh, read about it. I would make sure it's Swift just in case you want to change the code because it's a lot easier to change. Um, like Objective C is uh, a lot more complicated and it is Swift, so that's good. Uh, this one's pretty popular, so you really couldn't go too wrong with it. Just the price is pretty high, but uh, you could definitely make that back. Uh, so this is a good example. Really, for the long-term apps, you want a lot of different features like payments, ads, uh, like social capabilities with different accounts and signing in. Um, also, having a backend, which is like a database for the app. Um, some examples are Parse or Back for App or uh, Firebase. Those increase the value a lot because it adds to the complexity of the app and uh, messaging adds to the complexity. So the more complex the app is, the higher it'll sell for, because most people don't have the skills to create this themselves, or uh, hiring someone will be really expensive. So if they want a similar app, they're going to have to buy a template. Um, so that is basically what the long-term strategy is. Uh, you basically buy the template, and you just change the graphics, sell it, and then just repeat that as many times as you want, keep making money from that. There's always a ton of people that want to buy these apps. Um, so as you got going with this, it'll be a lot faster to reskin it. The first ones you do might take a while, but um, once you get going, it's pretty easy and pretty fast. So that's about it with choosing your app from Chupa Mobile. There's other sites you can buy from too, but this is the most trustable and this is the only one I've used to personally buy anything. You could also buy stuff from Flippa too, but uh, that would typically be more expensive unless you find a really good deal. Uh, so after this, I'll probably go more in depth on how to use Xcode and different things you can do to reskin your app and increase the value. Uh, hopefully this was 
helpful to get some of you guys started so you can buy your first template, try to play around with it. Um, thanks for watching this video and like and subscribe if uh, you want to continue to get some more content. Thanks guys.